Hello and welcome to another video. Today we make a SAM side slash turret switch on the remote frequencies aka RF receiver and broadcaster. It's a fairly simple setup. We use the branch one to toggle the power. You can keep it on two power. The second branch is to power the turrets, SAM sites. So change accordingly. SAM sites need 25 power and one turret needs 10. We place it on the toggle of the memory cell because every time it gets a signal it should go from left to right output of the memory cell and in this case it's on or off because we only use this one port. To mimic the SAM side or the turrets I use the siren lights and the other light is only just to show you if it's on or off. You can keep it in your own, but it's not necessary. It's just a good indication if it's on or off. This is the most basic setup that we can make. You can use it with a lot of things. Toggles on or off, and if you want to make it a bit more fancy, you can use the siren light to indicate in base slash night time if the SAM sites or turrets are on. I use it a lot because uh, it shot my minis down more than I like. If you want to have an extra warning. You can use the RF pager to see from a distance if it's on or off. Only thing we need to do in the circuit is add a branch between the line of the SAM side. Use the branch out. I kept it on 2 power. If you want to be more efficient you can use it on 1 power because the broadcaster only uses one. Don't keep it on the same frequency as the remote because if it's on the same it will short it out and you cannot turn it off. And here we change it to 28 because we use it a little bit light and if you want to use the SAM side, it takes 25 power. We change the RF pager to 3332. And now you can hear from everywhere in the map if your SAM sites are on or off. Just if you want to make sure you can fly safe to the base. I hope you guys like it. And I will see you in the next one.